Alright, wait for all I do. Chat, live chat. Good evening, y'all. Welcome to So Fire. We're gonna play some Call of Duty. Multiplayer. It's a new season. Trying to rank up and all of that. Let's go for a smaller crowd. Build it up here. What up, zombie girl? How you doing, babe? Good to see you. It's like we just, like we just saw each other. Who was this keep doing memory? Hey, Trotty. Wait. Hi, Wendy. How you doing, honey? Plus, if I do it this way, it'll be easier for me to chit chat with y'all. This is when that chat keeps rolling real fast. I, I can't hard for me to keep up but thank you for being here i'm just gonna hang out i might focus a lot on gaming so if i ignore chat i apologize but i will every once in a while gander over it <laughs> right uh, it's gonna be funny and i just kind of want to i think i'm gonna kind of focus unless like i'm going over twitter stuff or i know it's gonna be a real good conversation um I'm just going to do my small stuff here, build this channel. Uh, there's a lot of shorts that I need to move here over to other, or I can just put them at both, since, you know, I ain't going to strike myself, so it's cool. I really need to focus Monday on getting stuff put on rumble i know a lot of my older stuff is on rumble and then the beginning of my stuff so i think what i'm just gonna do is start fresh here delete all of my content and re-upload it in order based upon what i feel should be out there because there's a lot of stuff that um, i think now that we are where we are now we can just get right to the point right to the point but there's some stuff that needs to make sure it stays out there. And the more platforms it's on, the better. Oh, that sucks, Wendy. Oh, we were just, we were scrolling through um, Twitter. I was reading some stuff. You're always welcome to um, check out Replay Crew. If you want to know what, what went down. Because I know sometimes watching me game can be boring. But there's, there's a lot of good reads in there. And then I gave away a shirt at the end. I did the numbers game, so I apologize that you missed out. I'll do another giveaway tomorrow. Mm -hmm. right. I should probably focus on what, leveling up some weapons, but I'm just really happy with the stuff that we have right now. Yeah, I'm streaming. I just wanted to make sure nobody else was live because I would prefer to go hang out in other people's lives. Like, if Mish G goes live, you best believe I'll be ending this shit to go hang out with her and listen to her chit chat, you know? I hope she does another live soon. I really miss her. Come on, it's taking 10 years to. I don't want to call no names. Why did this go? Oh, I got to pick a gun. Ooh, what was this HC kill confirm? I'm already out. Kill confirmed. Kill them and secure their It's okay. Oh, 
headshot. That's a headshot, bitch. Yeah, I got it. Pull the trigger. What up, Andrew? I appreciate your donation, honey. I think it's you. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's you. I didn't get to thank you. Sheesh. I didn't even know there was somebody in our side, man. Or be Michael. Why are you letting him just shoot up? What's up, bro? My gun won't reload. Come on, bro. There's four tags right there. What shit that is? Oh. What? Peekaboo. Peekaboo. Oh, sniping. You can't? Really? Good. Maybe somebody accidentally... I'll have to... I'll, I'll check. There's no issues. I apologize for that. I had no idea. You should have emailed me and let me know. Or left a little note with your little donation. Ooh, well, how is he... I see what he did. Yeah, that's really odd, because I know I personally would have no reason to ever block you. I've never had any issues with you, honey. But yeah, I can do that too. It does happen. There's times that people are half falling asleep, or they're trying to type in chat and accidentally click on something. I do. I'll, I'll do that. Where'd he go? Two people in there, damn it. Oh, and I still got shot somehow. Yeah, she got a t shirt. Did, did. Damn, bro, what you rocket launching? All that shit. Oh, shite! Tomorrow, um... I don't know if I'm gonna do a members giveaway. I feel like I should be doing some more members giveaway just because... Super thanks for all the people that are members on SOS. I might just do members because I see we got some new members. I almost got him for a second time. You really see, I have issues like that too, especially with people that, even if they mention Kylie Rodney from time to time, I notice that I have issues with getting either unsubscribed or I don't get notifications for them. Sometimes, even if I redo everything, um, I'll still wind up only getting like notifications on my phone or something. You would think, honey. Friendly mosquito deployed. Oh, he's shooting, dude. There. Ooh.
I can get. get it. Oh, and he still got both of us, man. Yeah, they do. The revenue they make off my little ash channel, yeah. That's why I'm making sure instead of striking channels and letting it them strike go unnoticed or them not paying attention to what's going on, I'm just definitely gonna reach out to a human. Oh, I fucking hurt myself, dude. Budged up. Should have reloaded. Oh shit, I should have looked that way first. <laughs> Brandy. Uh, Rebecca, how you doing, honey? CB, good to see you. So, so good to see all y'all. Miss G! Your phone's gonna... You're about to get a message. see how long the delay is. Bing! Daddy bug! Here we go! There it is! Ooh, what do we want to do? Ooh, what's emergency? Why didn't I remember this, dude? They've put a couple new levels in here, I'm pretty sure. Or they've rotated them around or something because some of these I don't recall seeing in the past couple days. Like I knew they existed, but I don't know if they do them in rotation or how they do it. Never really paid attention to that much. I just know I don't want that fucking cargo thing. Dude, you're doing shipment right now. This is the one I don't want. Where it better not be that bad. I hate it's so congested and stupid. Actually, let me see if I can back out. I can. All right, I'm gonna play. I want to do one round of round four. I'm gonna do a ground war and then I'll do a couple fast paced ones. I don't know why, like, the levels are garbage. Sorry, that time's in your in your earpieces, y'all. My bad. What was happening with the bum? What was missing? Oh, I let this. She just... Dude, she makes shit up. And then I hate how she attaches my name to shit that she originally came up with. And then had some lady named Elle. Like... 
say all this pregnancy shit. She'd been screaming it since day one, and then it's like, oh, but Chanda's the one that said, no, no, bitch, I did not. And you're not gonna read something and claim that I'm the one that said it when it was somebody else on my panel. You know, I'm not doing, I'm not doing weird ass people shit. And it's really odd that Megan's out here striking all these channels, and then after everything that that lady said and done, them videos still stand on her shit. That's weird, right? It's almost like they know each other or something. Oh no, very odd. Just something I've noticed. Because at the rate she's going with all the shit she's made up and the allegations and the playing her lives and going over shit, look, she should definitely have two to three strikes by now. You know? It's very odd. Very, very odd. It's something I want to notice. You know, coming from a lady that claims I'm somebody that I'm not, that lives four hours away and claims that I'm a park ranger and all this weird ass shit this lady claims. She just gets further and further from the truth by the day, but like in her warped reality, she believes what she's saying, but I mean, her views are telling her a little bit different. I know that, but is one just one preventing you hold on wait a second why is that not loading Why is this taking 10 years to load? Come on, man. What? It just kicked me out of that. That was dumb as hell. Come on. One more one more time. Let's try that again. Actually, you know what? Let's do I don't often play invasion. Let's try invasion. Let's 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 see if this will load in. I think it's because it just updated today that it's been acting real wonky. Like the new season I think started yesterday. And then today it's just been acting real wonky. Did my whole game just freeze? Yeah, it did. What the hell? All right, let me do this. Now it's fucking right. What is going on? Why is everything taking 10 years to load? All right, let's stick. What do I want? I want to battle that. Why is it saying that I... I have hours of channels. Let's check on, I guess. No, I haven't been on all day. I did a short live this morning. All I did was game. There, I don't, uh, oh, there was some really good, uh, topics discussed this morning on Squirrels on Fire, um, while I game this morning on that channel, and then I did a live tonight, which, uh, I mean, has, has some stuff from a local that, I mean, got my eyebrows perked up and like, what? You don't say. I mean, it's really weird. 
after they said all that stuff, how they like went radio silent. I think their account's been radio silent for a year now. Y'all, a piece of my tooth broke. My tooth kind of hurts now. No, no, no. Um, what is this? Invasion. What do I want to do here? Um, you know what? I'm just going to try this gun. Let's see if I, do I hear snipe, snipes cracking off. I hear it. Ooh, almost got him. Ooh, I hear it. I hear it. Ah! Uh, I don't know. I hum shit all the time, girl. <laughs> yeah, um, this morning's live, we just touched on all kinds of topics. Um, some are like conspiracy theories, some are like real. I mean, they're. I mean, the evidence is there um went over some stuff that i've been consuming on the internet specifically twitter i've been starting to get real heavy into twitter again which i mean I, know twitter, I'm no, about it. I just need to start making time for all of the things even if uh, it means me kind of limiting how long I'm doing lives and what I'm doing inside while I still be a parent. But also mama needs her down. No, you feel me? Oh, I should have used sniper. Ooh, pluck that shit. Ooh, ooh. Ha <laughs> bitch. Bitch. In that way. Nope. Fucking around right now, no more. Yeah. You sniping? Come on, bitch. You sniping? Woo! This shit's on fire. There you go, buddy. Oh, he already got you. That's not... Oh, he's... Oh, what? I don't even know. I double-shooted him. I don't even fucking know what just happened. Come on, y'all. Go in. Look at that, bitches. Friendly mosquito deployed. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Where's that? Your presence and how you open them. Look, every day's a gift. What's my X handle? It's the same as my email address without the at gmail.com. It's just. I'm pretty sure. I've considered changing it, to be honest, but it goes with my email. So. That dude's up top. We've secured the lead. Oh, I'm trying to get it. Oh, 
that? He's right here. Hear it. We've lost the lead. Breaking. Bitch. Oh, I should have known better. Shoot, do what makes you happy and makes you feel good, you know? You only live once. There ain't nothing with indulging from time to time. As long as you feel healthy, you don't feel like, you know what I mean, your health is dwindling because of the way you're eating, I say have Rice crispy Treats, you know? Dude, I shot it the same time. <laughs> I love how it Yeah, 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 yeah. Them's the, them's the best time right there, Sage. Sage knows what's up. We're falling behind. Get moving. They cannot hold. Finish it. Yeah, like if you're hungry, hungry that you feel like like you need to eat, eat yeah, I highly recommend it. Oh. That's a little bit more of sustenance. Unless you just feel like a little treaty treat and get them rice crispy, you know? Friendly mosquito deployed. Moving this way. Yo, I watched this, uh... <laughs> can't remember if it was a YouTube or Twitter or what the hell it was. But yo, I watched this dude turn fucking uh yogurt, like 3.5% milk fat yogurt, strained the water out of it and turned it into some of the most yummiest looking cream cheese I ever saw. However, it seems like I don't know, it seems a little healthier, but at the same time, like it seems like you lose out a lot on um Oh, I got plucked. Seems like you lose out on some cream cheese with the cost ratio, but it just seems like it's healthier. It might, it might happen. Someday in the next, I don't know, few weeks down the road, you know, I try to make my own cream cheese. This you, the dude used a weird ass towel. I'm pretty sure that he should have used like a cloth or something. I don't know, just watching the cloth that he used. Like, I felt like he was about to be like a fuzz, you know? <laughs> I don't know, I really kind of want to start doing some random, like, DIY videos. Feel me? Oh, you ran your own teammate over, bro. Nah, I shot him. Ooh, I- Dude! I plucked the one dude off in that seat. But the sniper got me. I don't know, man. I think that they keep lying to us so that they can take more and more farmers out. That's just my opinion. Um, because from what I understand from a lot of chemists that are on Twitter is the way that they're explaining how bird flu would even affect milk 
still like people would not get sick from cow milk from don't quote me on that because i ain't no fucking doctor i don't know i don't oh you know Ooh, no, no, no. Where's he at? Where's he at? Where's he at, bro? Bro, where is... Where'd he go? Hello. This dude's right here. Wait, what? It says he's right here. Brad. It says there is a red dude right here. For real. I ain't even losing my shit. Tell me it doesn't say that right there. Ooh, I fucked on him once. Brad, it says there is definitely a dude right there. I don't understand that. That's the greatest shit ever. That was fuck off. That's Bro, this gun don't reload. Oh, that's my own team. Fuck. You bitch. Get him. Get him. Land right on his head. Get him. Hit his gun. Oh, come on. For fuck's sake, man. Dude, there's a dude right here. Get him. Yo! Wow! That's a really high score. I've never seen a score that high. That's crazy as hell. Yeah, I've been noticing you're... I, I'm really liking what you're doing with Rumble. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna start first with the Rumble with putting um, a lot of my important videos over on Rumble. Because I'm noticing, like... Um, a lot of truth seekers, a lot of um, people that like to expose information that is out there that demand answers from law enforcement. I notice a lot of that is out on Rumble. I like what conspiracy theorists are doing on Rumble. Look, I'm, I'm absolutely like, I'm tied to YouTube. Don't get me wrong. I absolutely love it here. Um, I love being part of their partnership. It's just... Look, they really got to work on um, their terms of service. And um, I don't know, every once in a while, poking in on an account that seems to have a lot of weird activities um, with a lot of counter strikes um, and what kind of information they're putting out as well. Um, but yeah, I just, I really like the, the freedom of speech on, on Twitter. I really, really love what Elon has done with it. Some people don't like it. Look, and if Twitter's not for you, that's great. But look, I'm going where there's less censorship. The more that our amendment rights are honored, the more likely I'm going to go and put my time and efforts and devotion into that. Not only that, if you guys have not seen Elon's most recent post um, as of, I think it was yesterday he posted, um, analytics twitter is like leading by leaps and bounds on what traffic is coming through just google itself um he's annihilating like meta instagram he's he's doing good he's doing incredible good things and then he also just recently fixed and put grok on if you guys like chat gpts and stuff like that look I fully trust his AI stuff. I just, I'm not a big fan of messing with AI. I would trust his more than anybody's. Man, what is this game doing? It's taking 10 years to load. Oh my goodness. I think I'm going to have to reload it because something is just. Something's acting funny. Put it one more time. Let me vote, vote it one more time. I absolutely love Rumble.
because um just like youtube and it like it's really cool because the logo looks similar to youtube it's just a green white and black logo i do believe um you can get on your mobile devices you can get it on your smart tv as an app just like you would install any other channel on your smart tv and then you can also access it from a laptop pc even your web browser on your phone you can just go to rumble.com and use it there as well I think we're going to see a lot of migrating um, to Rumble. I'm already seeing it. I would love to see Elon Musk somehow partner up with Rumble or create his own just straight video streaming platform. Look, he can call it cube for all i care and spell it x-u-b-e for all i care look if if <laughs> if elon musk would have his twitter for social medias and then his own actual video platform because like i understand he has spaces and stuff like that but if he would incorporate something into twitter that not only has like i don't know like a social media back door to it as well as like a vlogging thing and then also incorporate like just some straight up like non-censored video i mean yeah you want to keep like nudity and stuff like that off of it you know kind of like what um tumblr did to their stuff quite a while ago um but yeah keep it within range of censorship you know you don't you don't want anything that's gonna you know warp the youth or minors you know but yeah i would absolutely love to see elon musk um, get some uh, some type of video streaming platform out there i think he would do incredible things with that and i just i trust elon because i know he's not um selling us out you know yeah he in people's eyes like he sells us out in the sense of you know giving us ads and if you don't want all that stuff then you have to go blue look i respect the man that's just trying to you know make money off of a beautiful thing he's doing fully fully support that i honestly think it's one of the best things he did it's to get verified you can pay for it or you can earn it for real Look, if I didn't have a cat, I would totally raise my own chickens outside in the summertime and bring them on in the wintertime, but we'd be having fried chicken if I ever brought a any type of bird in this house. I'm pretty sure Stormy would fuck it up. Look, if you would see what she does to Nova as a big-ass dog, <laughs> like, no, no bird would have a chance of any size. Look, I think Stormy would fuck up an ostrich. All right, I'm gonna play some multiplayer hard point. I'm gonna play a couple games of this, and then I'm hopping off here for the night. All right, hardcore quick play. Actually, let me let me see. Hey, why is Team Deathmatch unmarked up here? Hold up, I don't want a free for all. Still confirmed hard point. Great controls, cool. Headquarters is cool. Um, I don't want to do. I don't know what emergency 24 7 is. I don't know. I'll keep all those marks here. All right, let's go. <laughs> Chicken milk at a lab near you. Look, dude, I just saw that they started making like this pink rice that has cow cells in it, like cow protein cells in it. It's not sticky like rice. It's like cooks up crunchy. Look. And the way that they have to coat, I forget what they have, some type of fish something. They have to coat the rice in for the cow cell cultures to like even grow on this rice. Like y'all are doing too much trying to feed us the shit that nobody asked for. Like, I'm sorry, natural food is not is not hurting earth 
you want to start focusing on something that that's hurting earth look at all these people that have their own personal jets and how many millions of dollars that they claim they invest like bill gates to he claims erase his carbon footprint it's something like nine million dollars a year y'all nine million dollars a year that he claims that he uses this special fucking jet fuel that erases like <laughs> he claims it erases his fucking carbon footprint i don't know why he lies i don't know why he continues to lie to people Look, his, him and his kids and his family don't want nothing to do with that stick poke, but he's trying to force that and fucking all this lab-made bullshit on us. No, thank you. I will eat rocks and sticks first. Bet that. Bet on that. No, for real, I will learn to um, hunt real, real damn quick. Not that I don't know how to hunt. I just, I'll learn to get over having to kill my own animal and, and butcher it make some cool shit from it. Feel me? Yeah, I ain't eating none of that, Andrew. If it's made in a lab, I'm, I'm not trying to... Mm -mm -mm. No, no, no! The only thing I semi-trust, and I don't even really trust it since they stole the regulations from the people that industrialize vaping here in the United States, um, I still, a lot of the times, don't trust what the FDA is allowing to go in um, vaping devices anymore either, but it's still way better than smoking, that's for sure. Oh, bitch, I know you're there. Your gun. Oh, come on. Yes, he still got him, though. Yeah, dude, and, like, the chemtrails, I got problems with that. We, we talked about all kinds of stuff this morning. I don't mind talking about it now, either. Are they really conceal carry arrows? <laughs> what? Wow, wow, what type of shit is that? That's great. If that's... Look... Is that real, Mish D? Like, is that real? Can still carry arrows. Bro, that's the greatest shit I've ever heard. <laughs> I couldn't ima- I could not imagine getting shot by an arrow. Could you imagine getting shot by an arrow? That shit would be fucking hurting. Because you know you would have to break that bitch off to, like, pull it out. Cause it ain't coming out the way it went in. Especially if you see some of these fucking arrowheads, man. You'd be lucky if you survived that shot. Oof. Oof. Ooh, are you serious, Rebecca? I normally buy, um, what the hell is that? Nature's whatever chicken. Now I'm gonna have to thaw some and make some this weekend. And check out the skin as it cooks. But I only buy chicken breasts anymore unless I can get like some, some real chicken. I don't know. I just I trust stuff from farmers, butchers, and I'm very, very picky if I had to buy store store bought meat. Very, very picky. Bro, what why is my gun? I definitely shot that man in his face. Ugh, look. And they should have to put this shit, like, they should have to disclose this shit on label. Right straight on it that, look, even 5% of it's lab-grown meat. I don't care if they're, like, mixing it in with real meat. Nah, it should have to be disclosed of what's in our food. Around, but I have a feeling he's gonna fuck around and find out because his, his 
rocket launcher because it was slow. Like, so like, don't go in there, bro. Snipe my things right there. Yeah, and he got him, man! The shrimp industry made the news. Why? Please tell me they ain't lab doing that shit too. It's bad enough that there's already all the these the freaking toxins in the water from all the testing they did back in the 40s, 50s, and 60s, and then you got all these reactors that are leaking into our ocean at an alarming rate, and they're like everything's fine, you know? No, it's really not. Like I don't think I don't think people realize like how contaminated our ocean. Is. I mean, look at the plastic showing up in in fish and marine life, you know what I mean? The amount of plastic. Bro, I was watching this video where somebody was taking um, Wonder Bread off the shelf and soaking it and boiling it in water. That's what they were doing. And these, like, little black plastic fibers were coming out of it. I don't have, you know, three bucks to be blowing on trying to do an experiment with bread. But if anybody can before the whatever the cost is for that specific brand check it out let me know what happens when you boil it what you get make a video about it make a short about get ready for the next one. it if i do get the extra money i might if some funky ass shit goes on i'll ro record it in real time just in case it's real and if it if it turns out having them things in it look y'all we gonna have a youtube or uh a new rumble video Oh no, I would love to get like, because I'm like real nerdy. I love messing with the microscope. It's probably something that most people don't know about me, is if you look behind me on my shelf when I do have my video on, you'll see my top shelf has a microscope and some nerdy ass shit up there. I love looking at stuff under the microscope. But mine's like a like a 1980s old like it came from a school Friendly when we lived in las vegas my dad used to do renovations for medical places um, new home renovations and he also did like school so shit offices businesses uh, like that. but he always had this microscope and when i got old enough and he realized that i was like real nerdy he hooked me up with it, with all the vials, Final minute. Um, some little glass sheets, cutting tools, all kinds of stuff. But yeah, I absolutely love my microscope. I look, but I would like to get some type of uh, like water testing stuff, not just for like pH, but like actual like, some type of testing stuff and nerd out on some some stuff like that as well. <laughs> I'm too stressed over it. I know, right? It's just, look, and with the way that people April Fool's prank and going a little bit too far with it, like, I just, I don't have time to be doing April Fool's prank unless it's something, like, wholesome. Like, too much is going on in this world. A lot of people are stressed out. A lot of people got anxiety. I got no time to be having people April Fools in me, and I don't got no time to be April Fools in nobody. You know what I mean? Yep, Katie Bug. What do you mean you can't focus? Oh, you <laughs> that I can't focus. You have rights to carry conceal, uh, conceal carry slingshots, bro. I love shooting a slingshot. I love making slingshots out of nice sturdy pieces of freaking tree branches too. I don't know, I just I stay just stay true to my roots on things that I grew up doing, you know what I mean? Like it's one thing that we always one thing I always remember is shooting BB guns when I was super super little and then in my teens, like my uncles and all of them used to take me out hunting with them. Um I remember shooting bow and arrow. I could still shoot bow and arrow. Um absolutely love slingshots i like the uh when you can shoot the i don't know what the hell they call them they're like oversized bbs in them big ass like pellet balls one thing i've always wanted to learn to do is you know how them ancient times they put the rocks and them big ass things and they like sling it around a few times and then launch that shit 
man, I've been watching videos and this one dude like shoots him across and like he absolutely like annihilates like refrigerators and stoves and shit with this. But like the way that it cracks off like a whip as like it launches whatever out of it, rock, a rock, whatever, whatever they're launching, you know. It's, cra it's crazy what some people can do. <gasps> Dude, yeah, zombie mine. Mine would mine would drop too, especially with all the money I've been putting in my car. <laughs> I would definitely like like the one night that my niece was getting a hold of me, and she's like, "I can hear your alarm going off." I was like, "How do you know it's mine?" And she's like, "Cause your car sounds different from everybody else, which it does. It has a very distinct alarm." Ooh, yeah, I don't know how I did that, but yee yee. But yeah, like when I realized that, yeah, it was my car. Like, I was like please, please, nobody have broken my window. <laughs> I've had enough of replacing windows in my cars. And it's sad that it's it's cheaper to just do it yourself and learn how to do it the proper install than it is to pay like companies like safe light to come and do that shit and then your insurance gets all jacked up and shit because of the deductible and then you know what i mean you're paying even higher rates because you know and i own my car so i could do whatever the fuck i want i don't even know why i call it a car it's definitely not a car but hey. Bro, you tell me I shot at that man that many times, I ain't even gonna get a fuck off. Oh, for anybody, one thing I would like to know is anybody that I announced the other day that is getting, give that I shipped out their giveaway shirt, please let me know, like, when you receive them, so I kind of get an idea if there's still a delay in shipping or what's going on. I mean, I could always check uh, shipping too. Sheesh! A can canopy from Timu. <laughs> what are you? What? Wait, hold up. You said they ordered curtain rods and it turned out being a samurai sword. <laughs> That's crazy shit, dude. They bought a samurai sword from Timu? Or no, from somewhere else. <laughs> Do tip. Cause holy shit, dude. Enemy oh, come on, man. I pull my trigger at the same time. We should have at least got each other. Shiny. There, though. Why she? Why she died, bro? Oh, oh! I got scared and I got him both. Oh, so too soon. We've secured the lead. Hold on. Target area updated. Move to the hard point. Yeah, where did it come from? Amazon? Timu? Where the hell did it come? Where did, who, where did they order from? Where did they order from a specific site? A buddy, a buddy of mine used to collect, like, ooh, I shot my teammate. Used to collect, like, Chinese relics. Uh, yeah, pick that shit up. Let's go. We're so right. No, 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 bro. Oh, my gun only had one bullet. That's good. That's what I'm, look, I will learn to love to eat a sewer rat, you know? I would, I would eat a squirrel rat, or a squirrel rat. I would eat a sewer rat before I would ever eat lab-grown meat. Sorry. Look, and when my meat don't start cooking properly, 
that I'm getting from our grocery store, you best believe I'm gonna stop eating it. Look, and you also gotta watch because I hear that they're putting mRNA spray on vegetables. So watch, make sure you're washing every. If you ain't growing it yourself, you better wash the fuck out of that shit. Or I know this is right here. Where the city bitch? Oh, come on, dude. I at least got that shot. That's cool. That's bullshit. I definitely hit him. And this is normally one shot won't do. Daddy, right! Oh, come on, bro. He should be getting zapped right now. What the fuck? Bitch! I'm with you. Yes, I got one of them. Ah. Yeah, it's super important. Like, just the pesticides alone. Like, I wish people understood, like, that waxy shine that they put, be putting on your shit, that is not good for you. Definitely dilute some 10% vinegar with, with some some still water and, and oh I just shot my own teammate motherfucker. Oh, wait, no I didn't. Bro, are you serious? That's garbage. Ooh, that's all right. Ooh, um, <laughs> auto <-correct. laughs> uh, I hate autocorrect, dude. It always tells me shit that I ain't typing, and I get so sick of correcting it. I try to get get that predictive shit down, but sometimes it just autocorrect gets annoying. As fuck. Oh no, shit! So they sent you the wrong product, and you got to keep it. That's what's up, dude. That's really what's up. You can tell the difference. Look, I will never again buy cheap ass hamburger. I can tell you that right now. Mm -mm -mm -mm. That shit don't even smell right when it cooks. Mm -mm. And then, like, what it turns to? I don't know. It's like, it's like Taco Bell meat. It ain't that right. Look, and it's no wonder why they're trying to take all these farms out, dude, because farmers offer shit that they don't like, because it ain't making us sick, fat, and dumb, and complacent. They'd rather they think that starving us out is gonna make us complacent, but... Boy... Let me tell you. Look, I'll, I'll eat my own damn little piggies first before I eat any fucking lab meat. Best believe that. I ain't gonna start eating people though. Fuck <laughs> that too. Damn. Bitch. Peekaboo. Oh, right behind me? What? Where? Ah, oh, shit. I'm getting my... Sword knives and bows and arrows throwing knives. Dude, I have the coolest freaking throwing knife ever. 
her throwing star ever. I bought that thing so many years ago from an actual. Like, this thing is so sharp. Like, it will cut you if you pull it out the sleeve wrong. Type of sharp. I've cut myself trying to take it out of a tree because it sticks and shit so well. I also have these uh, cast iron. They're supposed to be bookends, but they're like you know the jack, the jack with the balls. They're two, two five pound jacks. Look, anybody ever intruded in my house? With the stand your ground laws, I'm telling you right now, you'd probably wish you'd rather got shot than something I might grab. You know. Zap his ass, bro. Come on. Tired of this shit. S zapping my own damn self. <laughs> he said, I'm um, no ma'am. Yeah, that's, that's good choices right there. We've secured the lead. Yeah, dude. Some of them samurai swords. Um, that one specific metal that they use, and there's a specific name for them. Yeah, dude. Like, they can. Decrapitate people. I forget what the hell they're called. It's a specific brand. It's the one that's in Kill Bill, which is the most excellent movie series. I like all the Kill Bills. I love the whistle song. She said secret code words. <laughs> Uh, yeah, it's really important that if you are using secret code words that, you know, people get the memo. Just like all these privated lives out there, which I think is hilarious because the trolls that try to troll my comments when I said I was today years old when I realized that people can't strike your videos if they're set uh, to unlisted or private with shares to certain people they thought i meant striking other people's videos to take them down oh no 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 all i have to do is literally take the time to write like three posts to um youtube support team and it'll, it'll get noticed by a real person real quick I remember whenever uh, there was like three people. What was it? Charlotte, Charlotte Prosser Gang, and um, Casey Kasem, Living Lake Time, um, that exposed what Jeff was doing with his website and how quick not only YouTube kind of put a pause on his YouTube account, but the website that he was hosting through took his website down and he tried to blame it on me. Look, I ain't have nothing to do with it. I didn't find out till like three or four days later what everybody was up to. And I was like, oh shit, Jeffy Pooh's mad and he's blaming it on me and I ain't even got shit to do with it. I didn't even know about it till he started crying about it. Are you really CB? Look, I'm gonna come move in with you. No, I, I really wouldn't. I would not, I would not want to live in that state. Look, it's so much, once you move, look, out here, the weather is the same. I understand that we don't have a Lake Tahoe, but we got a Lake Erie, and we got a whole bunch of lakes and ponds and all kinds of wonderful shit around here. Property is super cheap around here. Like, <laughs> you get, like, six to eight times amount of what you get for, like, like, with one acre there. Like, people should really consider moving to the mountains out, out, out this way. If you like the Sierras, you would love the Appalachians. Just saying. I really wish more people would um, sell their, their Tahoe properties that don't support paying taxes on system that's filling their, their, their kids and their community. But yeah, anybody that, that can raise their own animals and shit, that's what's up. I think I'm going to talk to uh, Baby Mama about um, the possible property that's going to be 
given to Fee and see if we can't put a little, little, little farm on something down there. I think they have like 40 or 50 acres. And if I'm not mistaken, Baby Mama has like 19 to herself or something like that. But I think she's going to uh, cut a deal now that her new home is completely paid for in full. Um, but the property that it's on belongs to her aunt and uncle. She has property that she could move her home to, but she's thinking about... Because she has more property on what she can move on than what she's living on now, but she's trying to talk to them about uh, doing a, a property swap. So I'm going to wait till all that's good and gone. But around here, like, I can grow a regular garden. I just... I, my landlord would <laughs> never allow me to have... I try to call my landlord in to let me get a goat. <laughs> She almost bought it. She, oh, I was so close, dude. I was so close. Yo, did you see his hoodie, Andrew? Did you see his hoodie? Dude, it looked like... Look, when I watch BX Beast Boy... <laughs> do some coverage. Look, I love BX Beast Boy. I am a lie. Fang Gang is what's up. <laughs> that dude, look... That motherfucker will have me cracking the fuck up at like four or five o'clock in the morning. The shit that he says, dude. <laughs> like, when he was like, I ain't even gonna say his name. I ain't gonna say nothing about it. He's like, but let me show you something, dude. When he zoomed in on that hoodie that was all busted out. Look, where did he pull that from? Like, did one of his 13 cats, like, I don't even know how many times his cat died. Like, but I tell you what, it looks like. Something happened on that hoodie, and it like he just looks dirty as hell. I just think it's funny, like that. Look, I ain't never clout chase Ryan up church ever in a day. I think he is a stand up guy that's making his own living, doing it independently. I absolutely support that. Look, and I appreciate the times that that man has come up on my panel and talked some real ass shit with me, do some I spy, have a little giggle, you know, smoke up with him. Like, he's a real-ass man, you know? I love hanging out with that dude. But you have, like, these try-hard, like, coattail riders that are, like, have been screaming for, like, the past year for his attention. And, like, look, if I was Ryan, I would not touch the information that these people are saying because, look. Mm. But it's just, it's really funny that the way that BS, BXB's boy have mentioned this email and this person that keeps commenting in his comments. And I see you, boo. I see, I see who I see who keeps trying to reach out to him. Oh, man, if you could just hook me up with Ryan Upchurch. Look, lady, how many times have you tagged Ryan Upchurch in your shit? He ain't responded. He ain't responded in a hard eight months to your nonsense, okay? Like, and the fact that she DMs him and has people DMing him, like, just let the man, if the man agrees with something that you're saying, let him come to you. Like, why are you doing all that clout chasing? It's weird as hell. But I noticed she's getting desperate again because now she's she's claiming I'm doing and saying shit that, look, ain't never come out of my mouth. Has it come out of somebody's mouth on my panel? Yes. Does it mean I stand 100% on that? No. It didn't come out of my mouth now, did it? I'm just, I'm tired of people twisting shit and making shit up. And look, I'm sorry, this same person that keeps adding him it's like it's like a female version of Jet. She's just a little bit cleaner, you know. Oh, musty buckets. Look, and like every single time that lady's got a whole ass new story, and then when her story changes, like anything she said in the past, she blames it on other people. Well, it's so and so's fault. No, bitch, you did that all on your own. You dug that bullshit all on your own. Like, I don't even think she knows what is what. Her theories have changed so many times that, like, mm, I don't know how people believe the shit she makes up. And I sure the hell uh, don't know how people listen to Furry Hoodie. But I also see bo both of them, like, what's what's going on with their channels, too. And it's, it's kind of hilarious. giving paper, shaking paper syndrome and shit. Shit's hilarious, dude. I don't watch her that often, but every once in a while when she, she puts shit out there and then adds my name to it, telling the FBI to look into me, look, I wish the FBI would reach out to me.
<laughs> he said he couldn't find his way out of a wet paper bag, dude. Yeah, and that dude talks out of both sides of his mouth, and he also talked like he got a paper asshole. Look, if he wants to do a YouTube fight, shoot, you could tie both my hands behind my back and I'll still beat that little hood rat ass. Do like a pay-per-view YouTube fight by YouTube rules, you know? Boxing gloves like them trucking these people do, you know? And I love that that dude thought that I was Squirrel Girl for the longest time, and then because he did, couldn't tell who was who, like, he, he started just adding us both in on a mix, and I ain't had nothing to do with any of the shit that he did other than uh, exposing all the funny shit that that weirdo said. He acts like he's the only one that has the truth and knows the answer. Boy, you're weird as fuck. We've been waiting a year and a half for this documentary to, to drop. All you're doing is funneling funds in your fucking weird ass website and it's weird i have never ever ever in my life ever had issues with my paypal account being compromised so i donated money to that moment i stand by that i see that dude smells like fucking dead cat and cheesy balls you know Ugh. Ugh. I don't like liquid on the bottom of a dumpster. Blech. I don't know. Every time I, every time I'm forced to look at him, it makes me go take a shower. Not even a lie. Dead ass. There's been days that like, I literally would have just taken a shower like three, four hours ago, and then I just see his little crusty ass with his little toupee, with his weird ass fucking teeth. And then I love when he did that video trying to address that he was gonna whoop Ryan Church Ryan up Church's ass. <laughs> and it, like if you watch him, he's trembling the whole ass time. Man is so laughable. I can't watch him though. All he's done so far is make promise after promise that he ain't he ain't never kept nothing. And like the thing of it is, he's like, I hired a private investigator to do this, this, and this. Bro, 35 bucks a month, true finder. All the information that you think you thought you got from from a from a private investigator, you could have done that same ass shit with true finder and a little bit of good duck duck go for free. Duck duck go for free. And you got all your answers. Out here trying to con people into clicks by saying that Sammy Smith got arrested. Weird ass fuck. And then, like, when you realize the other YouTube channels that he's had, <laughs> like, the weird-ass shit he does on there. What was that, Uncle? What, what was that? What was that weird-ass channel? He put, like, cars on fucking dollies like a weirdo. Like, he's just weird. I had somebody drop pictures of me from when he was in, like, this fucking... <laughs> fucking hair rock band and shit. And he looked dirty then, too. Ugh. Like a whole bucket of sludge. Oh, sludge bucket. Sludge buckets and misty buckets. Musty buckets. <laughs> well, you got sludge knuckles. <laughs> you got sludge bucket and musty bucket. Yeah, that'll work. All three of them people. What's funny as hell. Still funny as hell around the Kylie Rodney case. Look, I love. I love when church trolls. It's funny as hell, dude. I love when B BX Peace Boy, if you all are not subscribed to his channel, I highly, highly, highly recommend. Like, dude is funny as shit. Like, when he does his roast off, <laughs> the way that he, like, and I've been really watching him in a way that he's doing shit by terms of service. Dude, I watched that dude go from 200 subscribers to him. He's almost at 10K now. But the way that he does his reviews is a smart way to do it. And I think I'm just going to keep paying attention to the way he does his review videos um, so that I can stay in line with YouTube's terms of service, you know? Because I'm noticing he's not showing any video. Um, he's speeding up the audio, definitely making sure he takes pauses. I might actually start doing, um, like, audio effects with some, I don't know, maybe gaming in the background, kind of like he does a little bit, um, just to get around, you know, people. 
being dumbasses. But when I if I do like roast reviews or whatever, I'll be doing it on this channel. To be honest. <clears throat> I don't know, I really am trying to clean up scrolls on fire. Um I just really want the important information to be there. For 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 sure she did sage. <laughs> she did. Nasty. There's been some weird ass people around the Kylie Rodney case. I'm being honest, you know what I mean? You got that dude with that fucking hot dog doing that weird ass shit. You got Mr. Sock doing that weird ass shit. And then you got that that freaking pariah that was loving up on that shit. Like the weird shit she's done, the weird shit she's talked about. Ugh. No, um, uh, Zav had some, some not so cool shit happen to her. She also had that, remember that weird ass shit with that thing on the screen and then all her people did that weird dance around and shit? I remember all the weird fucky shit that used to go on with everybody that talked about the Kylie Rock case. Like how people would like threaten you in the comments just because you ain't agree with their opinion. Well, okay, you go make a video and you go talk about it on your channel. Like, I'm the type of person, like, if I can't, like, even agree with you half the way on something, I will just distance myself from your crazy ass. You know what I mean? Ooh, Mr. Sock, you just go eat. He was weird as hell. And then, like, in the one video with him in there, he had that, like, Remember that, like, weird-ass satanic statue thing? You remember that? We have taken the lead. He had, like, that weird-ass cult statue on the floor of his hotel or whatever the fuck that shit was. Shit, for all I know, he could have been at, uh, Bohemian Grove, you know? <laughs> Who the fuck knows with them weird-ass fucks? I do? He came on my live? No, he ain't never come up on my panel. Not with no sock, at least. I remember people trying to get him on my my panel, and I was like, oh no, he won't. But yeah, I don't ever remember him coming up on my panel. I remember weird ass Megan coming on my panel saying, let him on, and it's like, nah, bro, I'm good. Look, is that lady still going live from work? The last time I heard, she got reprimanded for that shit. I don't know, I don't really go pay attention to her channel. <clears throat> I made the mistake of paying attention to her channel when somebody was like, yo, review this. Uh, no, she ain't got nothing to say that's important to me anymore. I will red hair. Oh, yeah, I remember that guy, yeah. I did, I cut him off real quick. I just didn't trust him, I had a weird vibe about... There's a couple people that I slid right off panel, or Daisy May would slide off panel. I loved her for that. It's just, it's really odd how... It's that same one person around this group of people that, like drove wedges between people that were pro-truth for Kylie Rodney and totally manipulated them in such a way that they they don't they don't even talk about Kylie's case because I mean they got drama from both aspects because I mean hang around weird pe people you start doing weird ass shit and people hold you accountable for that shit you know good they all get What do you mean you'll bow out? You're allowed to talk about whatever the hell you want here. Look, I ain't worrying about offending people no more. I'm allow allowed to have my own opinion. Allowed to criticize. That's freedom of speech there, you know?
She does forget that she named who she worked for. Mm -hmm. That's all right. From now on, when I have gut vibes, I'm just going to say it straight out from people right now on. Like, I know I gave you a heads up in chat. Just, well, my squirrely senses go off. Y'all gotta pay attention, you know? I don't know, from the day that that person went into your chat and was saying all about how they didn't know nothing about Kylie Rodney, and then three days later, they're all like, yeah, I know a local that has information that nobody else has. If you let me in your Discord, I'll give it to you. And I was like, nah, you're weird. Like, I saw you being weird from day one that you came in. Stand by for next location. Look, and I often wonder um, if that Hello Weekend account don't belong to, to her and him. Doing all that weird ass shit. Certain things I never speak, I only speak. Yep. Same way, Mishti. Look, I have, it's like in one folder, there's like 340 some clips and then, then other an, another folder, I have over 100 lives collected. And there's just a lot that I never really put on YouTube because you know what? I wanted to respect somebody's freedom of speech. But you know what? When these people really started targeting me and infringing on my rights while I was being respectful of theirs, look, when you're making a video and calling people out by name for them to address you and then you go and address them and on their on their own video and then you go and do it just to be spiteful and strike them nah man you know what i've lost so much respect for people and doing dirty ass shit that now i'm just i'm gonna let it let it let it slide right onto the hands of youtube support and let them see if they want to demonetize or just end the channel it ain't my problem no more you know what I I'm done being nice to these people that just keep and keep and keep doing what they're doing. And then they laugh about it, and then they send more people over that continue to harass me, make unneeded comments, and then the fucked up thing is you'll block that account, and they'll come right back with another account with the same exact name, and they do it all over again. Don't worry, I've documented it all. And I'm letting YouTube know all about it all. I ain't been to y'all's chats in well over a year for you to even say that I'm bothering you. So you can go fuck Which is actually what you've done over the past year and a half as I've collected everything that you've been doing. To yourself and each other. That's what's hilarious is y'all... <laughs> y'all dogs laying with fleas attacking each other. That's great. And it's just like a, a little group of frenemies that got dirt on each other. What kind of friend is that, dude? <laughs> With, with friends like that who needs enemies, you know? Mm -mm. Objective located. Move to secure. People can try, try, try to take my channel down, but I tell you what, I just got hooked up with a, a lawyer that says y'all ain't gonna keep fucking around finding out much longer. And the greatest thing is you can't do shit about my rumble and you can't do shit about my twitter either so look and it really ain't my fault like i was really trying to leave some shit off youtube but you know what nah no i ain't doing that no more look i'll never forget when they finally manipulated michelle enough that kristen michelle and megan all got on a panel and did some of the dirtiest fucking cruelest shit on Mark as if they weren't already doing it and like continued doing it on Mark and then like when Mark passed away they pretended like they ain't never done that shit simply because they, they pulled a Megan and deleted it or privated it or whatever. Don't worry, I got you. I got you. 
Am I gonna put that shit on YouTube? Nah, it's 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 been circulated around enough people know exactly who the fuck you are and what you're about. But look, these these la these people that have been purposely harassing me and then making accounts with the same names to do the same just gross ass shit for the better part of a year and a half, nah. Let them look into your accounts, too. Who are you talking about, Kitty Bug? Wait, what? Yeah, yeah, she was, yep, she was bombed. I was there for that. I witnessed that myself. But I tell you what, she was quick on, she was, she was quick on ending that. I just, I can't believe people that, people get on YouTube and do that type of shit for a troll, you know what I mean? And then they get mad when their channels get taken down for taking it a little too far. It's just, it's weird to me that people that literally were made fun of because they got abducted when they were younger, or people that just got shit on or got their kids doxxed or got their Facebook doxxed or their names or close to their addresses doxxed or other people got doxxed because they confused it with somebody else. Nah. And then you guys are still, you still continue to this day to do that 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 stupid ass shit that's gonna wind up getting your YouTubes taken from you. That's what I think so too, Sage. I don't know, the way that all went down was weird as hell too. But I also ain't gonna have some bitch that did was doing background reports dropping them in Discord and then it getting blamed on me when it was three months out before I even ever got my own Truthfinder account, so. And then look, look at poor uh, one of the real ones. That girl was all down, and she's still down with exposing the truth because she, she still, to this day as a local, does not believe that that was an accident. And then what did they do to, to, to drive another wedge to manipulate? They all tell on her that I put revenge pee out on her. No, that never, never happened. That never happened. Never happened. I really don't care what she's scared of. You can only pull that rubber band back so far till it snaps back, you know? And I think I've been pretty decent of a person by not striking their channels, by not striking their videos. I mean, hell, they've even played my lives in real time, which I got that documented as well. Just because you got that shit privated doesn't mean that YouTube can't match that URL to the URL of your privated video and be like, oh, look, <laughs> you do have this. You are hiding the shit that you've been doing. And then when they see some of these people in my blocked list have well more than five, which that's all the more you're allowed to have per, per email address, when they see that they've made multiple different accounts to have shit, 10, 12 different alternative accounts to continue doing what they're doing for, for the past year, year and a half, mm -mm, I'm done. I'm done respecting their freedom of speech when they've infringed on mine for how long now? Mm -mm. And then furthermore, like after I saw her strike me and then after I just let it slide off my back, when I realized there's three different lives where she, I mean, she's talking about a whole bunch of different other shit, but then all of a sudden goes back to calling me the D word again. Mm -mm, mm -mm. And then some, some some of the lives, how the jokes followed with that, nah. And you know what? That same one person that's beside on her side, you wait. 
I also have these same people like Blind coming up on my panel, Killshot coming up on my panel saying, yeah, oh, that Poppy account. Yeah, we all logged into it. Look, I have audio video proof of y'all continually, continually making accounts just to harass people. It's only a matter of me unblocking all y'all when it's go time and them letting letting them see how many comments that you came in and how you rated a YouTube live stream. Go ahead. I don't care what, what you gotta say about me anymore. There ain't no more videos on my on my channels that you can strike. None. And I tell you right now, with the lawyer I just got hooked up with, you better better prepare to Stand on your shit in court. Because that little accusation that slipped out of your mouth that said that I called you a murderer, mm, you're going to have to prove that. And then when you don't, I'm going to sue the fuck out of you. Don't worry, I play my cards right. I've been keeping my temper. I've been trying to be decent to people. I haven't been bothering none of them other than to stay focused around Kylie Rodney's case and what was said around Kylie Rodney's case. And y'all made it personal. Talking about, oh, they made it personal. Well, bitch, you shouldn't have went up on how many panels? Self-inserted yourself and did all this shit for attention and to get information out there and then turn around and try to backpedal on it because, I don't know, is it... Is somebody in your area, do you have a handler that's threatening you to take back all your statements? You're weird as fuck, lady. Weird as fuck. And it was you that said once it's on the internet, it stays on the internet. Sure does. It was in that moment that you said that, I was like, oh shit, I better document all of these videos that y'all are putting out there. Remember when you when you put somebody up to doxing me and then they you y'all dox the wrong ass person? Don't worry. I expose it all. Y'all pushed too fucking far. Thought it was funny for a little giggle. Ain't gonna be funny if you get demonetized or possibly lose your channel. But it's not my problem no more. I tried staying focused on Kylie Rodney, the truth for Kylie Rodney, and that's it. Y'all out here playing games, don't know what it is to act like adults, well now we're going to act like adults. I'm going to do this shit legally and through terms of service. I don't care what you threaten me with. The same lawyer won um, cases with uh, Check It and SF, where videos, so many videos were reinstated. Um, and it looks like they're the ones that wound up deleting their videos because, I mean, what numerous YouTubers still have out there on Check It and SF? Well, what happens when you insert yourself? And, I mean, you, you say too much. Ten seconds. It's not harassment if I ain't bothering you. You're the one that's coming here. Coming here. Coming to me. To bother me. Round secure. On to the next. And then you cry about it after you really, really have pushed too far. If you have um, a direct number to YouTube support, let me know. We'll oh, call that fucking number first thing Monday. Otherwise, in the next coming days, I'm going to be working on a video that's going to go on to a very specific Rumble account for YouTube to look into. And, I mean, whatever comes out of it, comes out of it. I'm tired of people fucking harassing me. And saying this stuff, look, if any other creator would have put half of the shit that came out of her mouth out there, do you realize how quickly even a person with multi-million dollar subscribers would have lost their channel? Like, to literally say hate speeches that you have? Nah, bro, I've had enough.
yeah, if I can't get hooked up with their phone number by like Wednesday, then I'll, I'll take the lead support team. We're blending at Bravo. Look, after I found out how much this lawyer costs, look. I, c I can go up without nicotine for a little bit. Um, I cannot go to the dispensary. Um, I can cut back somewhere, but I think I'm going to be A-OK. -okay. Because I'm pretty sure, like, once, once YouTube even hits play, I think they'll give it 30 seconds and be like, oh, nope. We ain't, we are not having somebody on our platform monetized with this type of content. And the greatest thing is like all these people, they have very distinct voices. There ain't no way that you're gonna, same thing with your usernames, very distinct usernames, so. And that's what I'm saying, Andrew, like if it was an accident, like for real, like, why are you even, like, why are all these people taking all this shit back to people that believe it's an accident? You know what I mean? It's just, it's weird as hell. It's weird as hell the way these people behave. But that's all right. I'm going to keep talking about them on this channel. And like I said, um, it's time to get that information to YouTube. Enough is enough. I'm, I'm done, dude. And the thing of it is, is these people that struck my shit, I don't even need to go looking for their addresses for paperwork to be filed to them. I already got them. That's what happens when you file a strike and then you try to knock the counter down. Ooh, my vape definitely needs to be. Shit is rough. Oh my god, it's almost 2 o'clock. And that's what par part of it is, is she does not want her dad to hear how she put all of his information out there, her mom's information out there, her own fucking kid's information out there, and then try to cry wolf. That's what it is. That's partially what it is. She doesn't want daddy to know what she really was up to. But at this point, it, it has nothing to do with her dad. It has nothing to do with her kids. It has everything to do with she's going to start being accountable for all of the hateful shit that she's actually said. The threats that she's made. The doxing that was carried out. The putting minors on YouTube when you have a adult rated monetized channel. I'm fucking done. And then when all is handled, I'm just gonna go right back to blocking people that wanna try to troll. The only thing that these people by harassing me have done have pushed me to do what I should have done a long time ago, which is expand on Rumble, BitChute, and Twitter. But he's stalking and harassing me. No, ma'am. It requires me to go and do something that is stalking and harassing you. I'm, a, I'm, I'm, a, I'm entitled to my freedom of speech. Just like you guys have done for the past year and a half, I'm going to start doing that, too. I ain't biting my tongue for none of you fucking pussy-ass bitches anymore. Fucking coward. Like, they infringe on people's freedoms to... Speech, expression, criticism, fair use, and terms of service. And then they expect and demand that people respect theirs. Nah, dude. Focus on the next one. That time has tick the fuck out. I'm tired of being so nice to shitty-ass people, but what I'm not going to do 
is do revenge shit. All I'm gonna do is do it legally and through terms of service and reach out to... <clears throat> Look, you can't demand people leave me alone and then go and day after day after day, like sometimes three times a day, do lives, which I have them all where you continually say my name, attack me, slander me, defame me, like all of these things. All of these things that you have said. And then the false allegations that you've made on me. It's gonna look real bad. It's gonna look real bad. But go ahead, keep striking my channel. And that will just further prove my point that you guys will not leave us alone. But don't worry, I'm already making followings elsewhere. I ain't worried about it. One minute remaining. Enemy planted at Bravo. It absolutely is, Andrew. And, like, that's the thing is, like, there's so much truth there that needs to be exposed. And that's why I'm going to stay focused on going over the shit that has been put out there. Yeah, like, and that's the thing is, like, all the shit that they've made up, like, if all of the people that they've continually harassed and slandered got together as a civil suit, mm-mm, then someone might have to tell daddy the truth. The charges and demolish tell the daddy to finally do the right thing. He's the one out here saying, I know what they did to Kylie, and it's like, what? You know what? Like, and all we've literally done is play her words back to her, and then she puts words in our mouth, which makes it even worse, because that is slander. When you won't be able to, in a uh, court of law, show proof that those words came out of my mouth. And you know what you can't do? is you can't say those words came out of my mouth if they came out of somebody else's mouth. Because I can tell you right now, you're taking people's words like Judas and you're putting them in my mouth and guess what, that's not gonna look good either. What I do on my channel, yeah, I'll be accountable for. But what you're not gonna do is say all these other channels that also focus on Kylie is my problem because that's not my problem. I tell people to think for themselves, do their own research, use their own same freedoms that I have to be leaders on their own. I've advised people to even leave you alone, to stop talking about you. Hell, you just came up on my panel not too many months ago thanking me, thanking me for correcting misinformation. So, I think the fuck not. I and mean, that's what cracks me up is they claim that I bullied them so much. I have proof that I have not been around their channels in a year. Um, meanwhile, the same one that continues to do the shit that she does is the one that keeps coming around to my channel, making different accounts to get around the fact that she was been blocked. I forget who put the video out, but I just saw the other day where she's telling people, come to my channel for the views if you want to ask me questions around Kylie. It's like, bitch, you said enough already. Look, you, do you don't want Kylie's mom, dad, or pap to hear the songs you have sang for Kylie or the jokes that you've made on behalf of Kylie or the derogatory things, the actual despicable, disgusting things that you've actually said on a deceased girl. Trust me, you don't. I don't ever want to have to take it that far.
All I really want is for you to leave me the fuck alone and honor my freedom of speech. Like, and it's hilarious to me because these same people that make all these weird ass new email addresses just to stalk me and harass me and say shitty ass things, they don't realize that all, all web browsers, if you're on a PC, when someone emails you, all you simply have to do is hit F12 and go in developer mode. It's a part of any, any, any browser. Anybody that likes nerdy stats knows about it. And like simply right in there, it lets you know where the IP address, like where the email is being sent from. They do it for reasons that way. If people do the stuff like y'all have done, it can be traceable right back to the same IP address. Even, even if you have a VPN, it can still be traceable. Like, like and that's the thing is like er everything that they've projected is a actually what it is. It's them projecting things that they're doing, claiming that we're doing it. And I'm just, not, I'm not doing that game no more. It was never a game to me. All I wanted you to do was honor the terms of service. Let me have my freedom of speech while you were having your own freedom of speech. And out here, you're out here making false strike reports. Letting other people admittingly log into your accounts to lodge strikes. Like y'all really dug a fucking stupid ass hole for what? In hopes to have a YouTube channel taken down? Bravo. Like, y'all just dug and dug. Like, how far back did you pull that rubber band? Because, look. Like, and that's the thing is, like, she complains about, oh, they have no life. TF says, oh, they have no life. But look, you motherfuckers are the ones that are on YouTube all day, every day. Falling asleep on your YouTube channels, doing weird ass shit. Doing copyright strikes on shit you don't even have a copyright yourself on. Claiming Disney. And then you hurried up and tried to take that channel, or that video down. Don't worry, I got that too. So do the people that you struck on that video. And the hilarious thing is people are trying to lodge co copyright complaints on people that can't even afford a fucking lawyer to do the proper like they think that they're gonna lodge the copyright complaint and then like the weird thing is like i'm speaking on ninja like they're they're filing copyright claims that they aren't even sending certified mail they're not even filing in the proper fucking country it's weird as hell never in my life have i seen a group of weird ass people like that before I think they dug as far as they could go at this point, Katie Bug. Look, and I, I've honestly, I've tried to been, I've tried to be respectful. I've tried to stay focused while, you know, cracking jokes here and there, you know, freedom to humor. Um, but yeah. It's cool though. They say what goes around comes around. Like I said, I ain't doing nothing revengeful. It ain't gonna be revenge. One, I'm gonna stay honoring Kylie Rodney and looking for her truth. While. Just directly getting in, in contact with YouTube support rather than striking channels and going a petty route about it. I'm gonna handle it like the adult they want me to be. Be careful what you wish for. Especially coming out of Blind's mouth after all the videos that he's made. I mean, he's the one that put on his own channel. That Shanda McDade video, didn't you? And then it was both him and Killshot that both admitted that, like, all these people are lock in, logging in to this one account. One account that made sure to leave a comment on my channel that says uh let's hope your heart doesn't stop too mm, i don't know man that sounds like a threat too i don't know y'all did the dirt lay in your dirt bed 
tired of your nonsense. And all you had to do was let me continue doing what I'm on. Remember, Megan, you, you said yourself. Shanda's doing on her channel what she's doing and I'm going to do on my channel. And you know what you let happen? You let all these people that claim to be your friends get you all riled up. Just for, and literally these frenemies that you have literally did it for their own entertainment. And then made you think that you were the victim this whole time your friends helped enable this and do this to you all while, all while pretending like you didn't put your own address out there and alive acting like you didn't put your dad's business out there your mom's business out there your own kids business out there you know what i mean acting like you never did any of these things and isn't it you guys that are always like oh but they can never be accountable well, well let's all be accountable now now that y'all have struck my channel now that y'all have harassed me, slandered me, now I'm gonna be I'm gonna be the real adult about it. I'm gonna do it the right way. All threats aside, because it really ain't no threat. I'm just gonna start following through all my shit. I'm done letting letting people treat me the way that they do and think that. And look, after seeing the pattern of manipulation and the things that they've done to person after person, this same group of people is always there when it's time to, to do all this shit that's against terms of service. I'm, just, I'm done. Like When a person gets to their done point, there ain't no apology that's going to take it back. There, there's nothing that's going to take it back at this point. You should have just left me alone. You ain't going to blame other people going to your channel when I've said from jump, leave people alone don't bother them don't reach out to these families don't reach out to these friends don't do it look i don't do it myself and then you egg people on and egg people on and then when they stand up for themselves you you want to cry victim after all the shit you've done i didn't do anything wrong well let's see and in all honesty i got one question for you have you done anything that you're embarrassed that your dad might find out or your mom might find out because I'm betting 95% of that shit that you put out there that you thought you were going to delete. Uh -uh. Got me fucked up with somebody else. Tired of all the fucking threats. And, and actually, if anybody has had uh, lost money on their channel, that would be me because of you and the shit that y'all continue to do. Oh shit. Like there's just people out there that they've ma manipulated and got them to start doing the dirty ass shit that they do that I never in my life ever thought would stoop that fucking low. Here we are. Yeah, like Molly go lightly, like, I don't even know, like, just seeing it from both aspects, like, people do some really, 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 really terrible shit that's against terms of service. And you can only push people so far until they finally or speak out on it. when all is said and done i'm definitely going to make an intro video with them saying squirrel 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 over and over and over again like all this shit that other people have said they laid at my doorstep not nah, not happening no more either Well, and that's the thing is like there is no substance on their their channel and like the stuff that they do like the stuff that they do on their channels is stuff people lose their jobs over let alone you know what i mean lose their 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 youtube channels for like these people have gone far and beyond breaking terms of service 
and then they think they're going to get sneaky and start striking channels not not nope don't worry i will never ever 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 play any of your videos that aren't rightfully mine on my youtube ever the fuck again trust me trust me on that I'm gonna ensure with a lawyer that y'all ain't never gonna bother me the fuck again once I'm done uh, corresponding with YouTube support. Oh, don't do it, bro. I'll shoot you. Oh, come on. I shot him first. Look, and that's the thing is I'm not even really trying to roast people. Look, there's channels out there like BS Beast, uh, BX Beast Boy. I mean, he, that's, look at Ryan. All he, all they do is roast people when they do, uh, content videos. Now look, look, look what they get away with. But what they don't do hey, is cross lines where it becomes, I mean, hate speech. Slander. I'm honestly surprised that uh, BX or Ryan haven't haven't fucking absolutely roasted Megan yet, or Judas for that matter. Took a little nappy and a half. That's great. I'm gonna play a little bit longer. I'm gonna kind of push myself to almost exhaustion. And then I'm gonna sleep so good. I just, I. Some nights, like, I just like going to bed at like 9 o'clock, but then I wake up at like 3 o'clock because my body's like, oh, we overslept. And then when I wake up at 3 o'clock in the morning and I'm up all morning and day doing shit, like, by like 8, 9 o'clock again, like, I'm ready for bed. I'm glad I'm drinking coffee. Oh, by the way, y'all, today's my fucking sobriety anniversary. I'm so super proud of myself. Oh, but what I'm gonna do is, um, I'm gonna start dropping, um, some, like, docu-style, kind of like how I did the SS files. Um, I'm gonna start dropping some videos. It's gonna take me a little while to compile them. Just hang tight. I will be bringing some really good content to my Rumble Hill here soon. And then, like, once my strikes have, have mellowed the fuck out, and my 90 days is up, I'll start dropping Channel. It's just for whatever reason, like I want to focus on getting some stuff out on Rumble because I can upload it to Rumble and then. I just I really want to build my Rumble channel. I I really like all the conspiracy. Uh, conspiracy theorizing stuff that goes on over at rumble um 
I know Prosper Gang absolutely loves it over there. And the more I watch videos over there, the more I just, I absolutely love it over there. And I highly, highly recommend that people start getting the Rumble app, whether it's on your smartphone or your TV, or even just accessing it through a web browser. Because uh, I have a feeling that uh, Rumble is going to be be growing here real soon. Because people are just really tired of their freedom of speech being infringed on. And then the, the, the people that should be looking into, like, I've seen some YouTube channels, like, with millions of followers that have that have lost their channel because of spiteful people like the same group of people that are doing what they're doing to all of us that have highly rotten content. But yeah, it's it's time for me to start expanding. Um, like I said, I'm, I'm really sorry. I know a lot of people really want me to, to really start doing TikToks and stuff. It's just TikTok is really not my forte. I'm really not cool or kosher with um, who who sells the data, who collects the data, all their filters. And then on top of it, um, I hear really soon that there, there's like a limited amount of time that they have to um, sell TikTok to somebody else before they ban it in the United States. I ain't trying to invest then in something that might be going away here in the next couple months if it doesn't get sold. What drugs put CO in your blood? Um, I'm, I'm not, I don't know. It's the month anniversary of Judy. It sucks that she's gone, but she's also free of the drama and having to deal with all that stress and being taken for granted, taken advantage of. Like, some days I think, like, I just tell myself, like, I kind of hope, in some sense, and this is just wishful thinking, that she faked her own death to get away from Megan. I mean, there's a lot of really, really cool videos on TikTok. I'm not going to lie. Like, I love people that come on YouTube and do, like, the creepy TikToks or the conspiracy theory TikToks or the, the DIY TikToks. Like, I'm not going to lie. I do watch TikTok, but I'm not going to be putting putting videos on TikTok. We control alpha. I don't go to TikTok lives. I don't know. I don't know. Um... Elon Musk has really been working on like the the video elements of Twitter. I'm really stoked to see um, what the future holds for Twitter. X. Like I said, I really hope that he somehow. I hope he somehow in the near future um, incorporates something like YouTube or Rumble with complete freedom from censorship other than like i said nudity and stuff because you you gotta follow things that protect the kids and that's one thing that i give so much respect to that man is how much he fights for the trafficking of children um, <clears throat> how he speaks out on it like if y'all don't follow elon musk on twitter it's it's a definite must. i know there's some people that don't like him and think that he's like the antichrist no nope you have to understand that there's people in this world that will try to discredit people so you stop supporting them. It's as simple as that. All right, Rebecca, I love you, girl. Have a great night. God bless you. I'm going to play a couple few more games. Like, it's just uh, these weird-ass people that attack you and harass you and do all this fucking lame-ass shit that gets them caught up in dirt. Um, I don't think they understand that there's more platforms than just YouTube. And I would honestly rather spend the next year building my account on other platforms that 100%
back their terms of service. Enemies taking Alpha. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, are we? No, we're not. We can't do that. The enemy took Charlie. Oh my god, dude. Prince of Saudi Saudi Arabia. We're taking Bravo. What did I miss? Enemies taking Alpha. No, Rebecca said she was leaving. But she said they're leaving. Unless you're unless you're leaving, Security Andrew, I'm not sure. Bravo. Just let me know who you are. I still probably got like another half an hour of gameplay in me left. Get them secure. I just hope the people that are getting off of here, um, you guys have a blessed night. You sleep well. Taking, Taking care of your, your health and your mental health. Dude, yeah, Madrika! I love that dude. There's this other bearded dude that I'm subscribed to as well that does creepy TikToks. Absolutely love mod. Dude, you see his new little alien looking logo that he's been putting on merch? That dude's getting it. Like, look, if I was really here for the views, do you know how easy I could get views off of DIY videos and doing reacts? Like, it's so easy to blow your channel up with shit like that. And sometimes I think about just doing a live once a week where I do react videos to uh, videos. Might be part of like the theorizing Thursdays. But yeah. Mama's sweating. Does anybody have plans super early in the morning? Y'all get to sleep in, get to wake up early and do anything. Anybody got to work? Family event? Something planned? Nice for this weekend? What's everybody's Saturdays look like? Uh, Crane said that if I go live tomorrow to finish up doing some of the Twitter rundown um, of the, that one local, I mean, she had, she had a lot to say. Um, she's going to hop up on panel. So, uh, probably going to shoot for something like eight or nine or something like that. Oh, fuck. Enemy's taking Bravo. It's all right. It's okay, Andrew. I'm getting there too. I gotta squint real hard to look at things. <laughs> Objective Bravo is compromised. Get it back. Hostile UAV in the area. Boom, bitch. Shit, that rock got in my way, man. Like, I can vaguely hear chat. Let me turn it up a little bit. Where? going to a farmer's market tomorrow. Enemy securing Bravo. It's still been like no one in shit here, so Far farmer markets are going to be a minute out. Friendly Overwatch, Hilo inbound. 
but we've been having the wonkiest weather here ever. Like, I've never seen Pennsylvania go through all the seasons, like, have an earthquake clo close to our state and shit. They got that CERN fired up. Alright, let him. Get on him! Come on, dude, launch that shit, bro! Why is it taking so long to shoot this shit? Go, get him. But that plane's gonna get you. <laughs> I still got him! <laughs> I got a death after death, that's what's up. I'm thoroughly enjoying this game. I think it's because it's a new season. And they got some new maps. Aw. Oh. It's really crazy, like, we had tornadoes, tornado watches, flash floods, then it turned to fucking snow today. Uh, and then by Monday, it's gonna be in the 60s. Ooh, you gonna be doing some grilling tomorrow? Ooh, what you making? What you gonna have on that grill? Mm. I wanna, I wanna have a cookout. It's gonna be too damn cold tomorrow for all that. Dude, I can't believe Maine got a fucking like Maine, New Hampshire got a foot of snow this past week. That's insane to me, y'all. Ooh, these Emmy. Posty as fuck, man. Oh. Dude, I can't shit. Oh, he, he beat my ass. Sammy isn't 25. Uh uh. Mm mm. Per, per ancestry and background report, there's no way she's 25. Um. Now, what I did notice is the inconsistencies in the background report of her brother and hers merging together, which kind of confuses people. Oh, which, by the way, if y'all want your internet information deleted, you can, there's pa various packages where you can have it delete certain information and leave certain information. Or you can pay for the pro package where it absolutely deletes all of your data out there on the internet. It sources 50 websites that do data collecting. Uh, if you go through the website deleteme.com. It's a little too late for them trucky folk and Tahoe folk to, to do all that. I made sure I did my research well while well, keeping that on. Yeah, yep, that's definitely here too. Dude, I only got 15 kills. Holy shit, it seemed like I got a lot more than that. Alright, I'm gonna do one more game. I need to get these jammy shirts off. They ain't no beast, but... Yeah, the the river level, levels, the creek levels here are freaking astronomical. We've gotten a lot of rain this past week. We even got hell, we got snow. Like, it was, it was, it was a crazy week. It was crazy to see all, like, we got every season, every single season this week. It's going to be nice, a nice spring, though, if it's, it's, you know what I mean, flooding out areas. Like, the way that, I, the area that I live in is I live on a mountainside, so it all flows downhill into the creek. And it has really nice irrigation here, so. Like, all the dogwoods are already blooming. Hostas are popping up. But we, we've had a really, really long winter. It was a late winter, and it was longer than normal. Whew! All right. <clears throat> Shoe house, and then I'm done. We had tornadoes and tornado watches. I think it was, like, Monday and Tuesday. Um, nothing locally touched down. It's 
but yeah, we had, I think it was hell yesterday. I can't remember. I just know that, but I would go outside at one minute and it would be one season. Then I go outside and it'd be a whole nother one. Then I'd take Nova outside again. And it'd be a whole nother season. It was weird as shit, dude. They got them large hadron colliders fired the fuck up, dude. That's what's up, Katie Bug. Send me some of those. I just want, I just want like a little bit of warmth. I can't wait till Monday. Might do some work on my car. I really want to take my two front wheels off and check my calipers to see if the caliper needs replaced or if the cylinder in it or the I want to call it a grommet, but that's not the word for it. It'll come down. The bushing. See if it's my bushing. I don't know if I lost, like, the... the Because on a Subaru, they have this, like, weird metal padding that has to go on the back of the, the brake before you put it in the caliper. Because um, it goes with, like, the ABS sensor and shit like that. And for whatever reason, like... My ABS sensor uh, has been illuminating my dash, but also, like, I can hear, like, my one brake, like, doing this, like, weird clapping thing whenever I, like, start pulling off. It's really odd. It's not, like, a strut. It's not a ball bearing. Like, it's, it's a distinctive, like, it's, like, you can hear, like, my brakes literally clapping. So. Stat. I'm <laughs> waiting until I get my Eclipse powers. It's on then. <coughs> we all gonna turn into some fucking Marvel heroes. <laughs> I don't know, dude. Like, some of the shit people have been saying around the Eclipse about all the... about all the... the, the evil people in the world, what's about to happen to them. Like... <clears throat> I really wouldn't mind, to be honest. Really look, no matter which way you look at it, God's gonna have the last say in all of it. And I know I'm right with God. Look, if Jesus was here today, the first thing he's gonna be doing is loving people while exposing injustices, especially to children, you know? He would be doing the right thing and i ask myself daily more and more that you know i find myself back at my faith you know what would jesus do i ain't gonna get all preachy on here and do weird ass shit that judas does but all these people have done is make my faith stronger and me stronger as a human so yeah that is crazy she did say that same thing and it's really weird how it all it all like it's crazy how it all goes back to Sam. What do you know, Sam? How did you avoid get answering any questions? And it's really weird. The shit that you said on national TV? And then, like, she tells three different stories. Like, you can't look at your phone. Like, it's a missed call. Call somebody or have them call you. Like, they just... That, I mean... That right there, any just investigator, detective, agent, law enforcement officer, like, anybody else out of any other state would have looked at this shit. Look, arrest would have been made during the investigation. Like I said, this shit reminds me of some Murdoch ass shit.
Excuse me, bro. Okay, he's out. All right. I think it's hilarious how people in the game call me Weedles. That's how you can tell that they don't have like a high def TV. Or they don't have like a PlayStation 5 or whatever. This is my name. The eye doesn't look very crisp. And they call me Weedles instead of Weedies. Weedles, Weedles! And then my niece, her name is Tweedles because we just joke about it. I need her to get freaking Call of Duty again so that we can. Her and I used to play prop hunt and laugh and laugh and laugh and laugh. I'm not talking to her about For letting me know what day she's kid free or the babies are in bed. Shoot, I'll go back to playing Call of Duty too if I got to. Wait, what? I hear that they are, Andrew. I've never had to rebuild my brake calipers, but it does look pretty cut and dry between like the bushing and the, the caliper itself, regreasing it and all that. So, yeah. It's just, I remember whenever I did um, my brakes that there was a tear in the bushing, so I know that's definitely going to need to get replaced, which is just the cover over the part. And it's due time for, for me to change my brakes anyway. We'll get it all at once. Hardcore. Search and destroy. One for one. Call to charge on the target. When's the eclipse on Monday? Because I, I don't really think I'm up. I'm gonna go out and expose myself. Ooh, for that. I might because we're in I think it's like it's like eighty or ninety percent totality. Um I might go out at totality because it's just it's weird to me do you all ever remember getting left out of school er early or them calling it an emergency day like y'all ever remember an eclipse going all this extra anybody like give me a yes or no in chat like because i don't ever recall to where they like they did like all these emergency alert alerts statewide Letting kids out of school early, like I just, I, it's odd, it's odd as fuck, y'all. I don't remember. Focus on the next one. I don't, I don't ever remember. Um, I just don't ever remember them going to this extent, doing like special alerts, emergencies. Um, I just, I don't ever recall it. I don't know, I might play some Call of Duty while y'all are <laughs> staring at the sun. Who knows? I just, I don't know. Something, something's telling me to stay indoors. And I'm going to follow my gut. My gut's never been wrong. Sometimes I wish I would have listened to my gut earlier instead of pushing that feeling down, you know? Where's he planting at? Ooh. Oh, come the fuck on, dude. I didn't know there's two dudes there. Brandy don't ever remember it. Me either. Like, I really don't. I'm waiting for them to throw a mandala effect in there, acting like it, it happens all the time. I've just never in my life, in all the eclipses that I've got to experience, never have I ever had them doing all these special alerts for it. It's weird as hell. Like, they made it, making an extra big deal of it this year. Making sure people get out and experience it, aren't they? Make sure people are traveling and all that. I don't know, man. And then look. If y'all don't watch The Simpsons, I've been getting back into watching old Simpsons episodes. Um, It's really weird how, like, The Simpsons always, like, predicting shit. Like, they did all those things with, like, the... The boats, the bridge collapsings, um, they also did, like, some stuff with derailments. Now they're doing, like, weird-ass shit with, like, eclipses and stuff. I don't know, man. 
And then if you think about um, the elites that own these corporations, that own these media production companies, I mean, they do hide it and everything in plain sight, so. And it's really odd, like, people that call out on these conspiracy theories, it winds up being some years later that they ain't conspiracy theories after all. I don't know, and I just, my gut's telling me don't trust it. Oh. What the hell is that? There's a streaming channel that I always... It's not news. What the hell is it called? It's not Muse. What the hell is it called? I used to watch it all the time. Sometimes they do um, ISS stuff to repeat. But... Oh, what the hell is it called? It has like a really odd name. But it's kind of cool. I just can't remember. Ooh. I should. That's a dumbass excuse. The dumbest excuse I have ever heard. I don't know. It's just like they're they're trying to make sure that everybody gets out and views it. It's weird. It's, I've never seen them make such a spectacle of an eclipse. Especially with how many happen all over the globe every year. Oh, but the next one won't come around for like 20 years. Yeah, not not here. Just, I don't know. Something really odd about the way that they're... And then they're going to be shooting off three fucking rockets during the eclipse? That's just... I don't know, y'all. All of it combined... And they wonder why people can have conspiracy theories on shit. Especially when you listen to some of these doctors and scientists and shit and some of the weird ass shit that they say that goes along with, you know, why they're trying to sell this shit to you. Mm -hmm. What I've realized, especially in life, but more so with the Kylie Rodney case, is trust no one. But I can honestly say, like, 99% of the people that I fuck with, I have no trust issues whatsoever. I'm really, really good at gauging people. Look, I called that roasted doodle out day one. People thought I was over-exaggerating, and I paid attention. I just sat back and, and, and paid attention to what lives they were going into. Also took into consideration that it was a brand new account. Like... <laughs> And then the weird ass emails that I got from them. And then when I told them, nah, nah, you can, you can't come in Discord. I ain't letting nobody in, which I, I haven't let anybody in Discord in quite a while. Um, but yeah, then they wouldn't email the information to me. They were like, yeah, the first, I'll start dropping videos with all this information in it. And then they turn around and the first video that they drop was about that uh, archivist bitch. And then it turns out to be her. Like that, that's weird ass shit. Targeting people and setting traps. I don't know, man. I'd like to know YouTube's support team's um, view on that. I don't know. I'm gonna I'm gonna ask them quite a few questions um, about behaviors and um, terminologies that have been used on channels. Um, we're gonna start with the monetized ones first. That are trying to make profits off of hate speech. The ones that are sending the people, the group of people out to harass us and cause issues. Yeah, I, just, I got a lot of questions for the YouTube support team. I've just never seen uh, YouTube support reinstate a video because they found something in favor and then because somebody struck it again they're like oh no we're gonna take it back like i've just i've never seen it yeah we're just gonna call her michelle i'm not sure not michelle sutton that it definitely isn't michelle sutton but we're just gonna, I, i've been calling her michelle just trying to give her like you know a normal name since you know she's using two accounts to harass people 
and continually leaves. That's what's weird is after they've been blocked, then they go and use another account to make sure that they leave comments. It's weird as hell. I am going to get in Faraday box. <laughs> what do you mean for the eclipse? Or to get away from these weird ass YouTubers? Bro, come on. All that spray and pray, and I didn't pray and spray. I didn't even get one lick on that dude. That I think that might could have been me. I don't know. I'm not sure what I, I did wrong. Look, I love this gun that has this this cartoon comic book. Absolutely love it. I just unless I earn the XP or the the points from uh, leveling up my game pass. Like I'm I'm not buying no Call of Duty points to to get anything. I don't know, and to be on the safe side, I would highly recommend that um, people that have, like, credit cards, debit cards, cell phones, I mean, this might be a little extreme, but just as make sure that you, you have your devices in protective things come Eclipse Day, or at least try to wrap the shit in some layers of aluminum foil. Shoot at this point. <laughs> With what people are saying, they make me want to wrap my whole ass self in aluminum foil. Not gonna lie. Uh, uh, I mean, I'm not gonna go that much. Alright, one more game and I'm out of here. That'll put me at 3 o'clock. Ooh, what do we want? Oh, ooh. Oh, yeah, I want, I want it. Yep. How many people we still got awake in chat here? couple few. Miss G's probably close to dozing off. Or she's probably over playing on Rumble. Katie Bug, I'm, I'm surprised you're still up. Who was the one that just had, said they drank some coffee and took a nap or something like that? Was that you, zombie? Said you took a little nappy nap. I can't, I can't. I'm not even gonna lie, I think it's 80 in here. I should probably turn this bill. <laughs> Might need to keep that sword after all. It's funny as hell. <laughs> Does it have like a specific design on the sheath or the the handle, Katie Bug? And what color is it? What? That dude looked like he was turned around. What? Oh come on! Oh, I shattered like a. Pyramid. Right. There's a dude over here. Oh! Dude, I thought my teammate got him. We're getting shift cards. We've lost the lead. I'm definitely yeah. Get off here while I scroll either YouTube or like the Rumble. I don't know, man. Rumble just got some really good shit on there that is not censored. That I've been seeing all over Twitter. Really good information. Look, I was on Rumble and I found this uh, this Kylie Rodney panel of dudes that are like kind of like going over like the occult and the similarities between like style behaviors like it's a it was a really good panel and i only walked like an hour of maybe two or three hours really good um i'm considering putting a link well, it all depends on which way it goes but um 
anybody is interested in stuff like that, I can put. Whoa, man, I was not, and my hand wasn't even on the controller. Oh. I can definitely put a link in that community post. Oh, I'm so sorry, teammate. So sorry. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you definitely got to check it out. Look, if you like the uncensored information that is on Twitter, it's like literally Twitter in video format. And I'm noticing like so many people that are on Twitter have been saying how much they use Rumble. I'm also noticing like a lot of people that post videos on that post a lot of uh, embedded videos, it winds up going to either Rumble or BitChute anyway. It's just, BitChute's weird. I can't figure out how to change my profile picture if you can even do that. Like, I'm really not certain if you can or not. I really don't know. He lost two guns. Ah, oh, bummer, bro. Good night, Wendy. You going night night? Or is zombie girl going? Somebody's going. No matter what, I love all y'all. I appreciate your your continued support. I enjoy your chit chats while I game, and I absolutely love watching you guys and listening to you guys interact with one another. Damn, and it got two on me. Ooh, I'm gonna... Yay, bro. <laughs> Bitch, I hit you with that shit. Come on now. Did y'all see that explode in his face and that wasn't a kill? Come on. Come on now. Ooh, it's 5.55 p.m. there. That must be nice. Dude, you got the whole evening ahead of you. I'm excited for you. So it's well into Saturday there for you. Holy guacamole. I'm gonna need a lot of it, Wendy. <laughs> I'm definitely going to sleep good tonight. So. so I go turn rumble on and then it has me up till fucking 5, 6 o'clock in the morning and then I'm like, why did I do that again? It was kind of good that my internet went down and up and down and up and down like it did because it, it kept me, it forced me to take like full day breaks off the internet, not checking anything, like not doing anything. Because I have a Wi Fi only phone. Because I ain't really, if shit goes down, I know how to handle myself. Ooh. That dude's got a really, really, really fast. Button. Why is that bouncing like that? Bro, what is this? What the fuck was that? Come on, bro, and zap him. Sheesh. I bet we're losing. No, I'm losing. How did he just appear right there? That ain't even. No. Oh, shit. Let's score on this shit. It ain't even telling me what the score is. What? I've never seen that. 59 to 72 yet. It. Ah. Uh, this dude's just hanging out over there, though. That's the reason why I kind of stopped watching uh, The Walking Dead because of the way that they like release their shit. Like, I don't know, I'm the type of person like I would rather wait till it's all released and then just binge watch it. I cannot stand when you watch like four episodes of something and then you gotta wait three, four months for four more episodes to be released. It's annoying as hell. That's where I start to lose interest in shit, you know what I mean? 
Brad Group just ate the whole entire series. Uh, there's tons of good shit on Netflix. I'm gonna binge watch a whole bunch of shit, and then I'll probably cancel it again for some months, and then when I hear and see that there's like three or four at least different series I want to watch, then I'll get it again. I don't know, I've just, I've never solidly kept any service that I don't use. Like Ancestry. Um, Billy helped pay for that, and I kept it for like two more extra, two more months extra than what she covered. I even shared the password with her for her to use it as she saw fit. She, she donated the money to cover it. Um, but yeah, I kept it for two extra months. I did everything I needed to do on it. I don't know, I just seem like I could do a lot more with Google and DuckDuckGo and find the same results or go to like the internet archives. I'm even noticing, like, the previews on, like, newspaper.com. You get way more information for free on websites like that. So there's, there's no sense in me. It's cool if you're building your own family tree, but to, to, to connect people. I mean, I can, do, I can do the same thing for free elsewhere. For their cost, like, it kind of pissed me off that after I had it for eight months... Uh, they have like the six month thingy, so like if you you cancel before the six months, they'll charge you twenty five dollars. But I canceled it after my thingy, and they still charged me an extra sixteen dollars just to cancel. But that's okay. After it's canceled, that will be over on the twelfth. So if there's somebody that's looking for specific ancestry stuff, do let me know before the twelfth. I think it's the twelfth, um, and I can look up anything on your family tree if you would like me to. Oh. oh, come on, he sniped me before I got him. Damn. Hi, Angel. How you doing, honey? And it is hotter than a bug in my it's really weird though, because since I have concrete floors, my feet are. Oh, I just shot my teammate. Maybe I didn't. It was a red tag. Hell, sometimes this game glitches out and tells you it's like your teammate and it's not, or that it's not your teammate and it is. I just like that a lot. Ooh, I still got. Yes! Three kills on that shit, bro. Come on, come on, team. We can still do it, y'all. Nope. Didn't do it. Alright, y'all. So far, hopping off here. Yeah, Redacted is on. Yep. And they actually, on there, I noticed they add a little extra mm to some of their podcasts. I also noticed they don't bleep the stuff out on Rumble like they you notice that they bleep certain things out on YouTube just the same as uh, anonymous official does like they'll bleep stuff out on YouTube but they won't bleep it out on Rumble. But yeah, I highly recommend everybody. I'm not saying move over to Rumble, but expand your horizons to Rumble. Um, I see very good things coming now that they've finally worked out their bugs, handled issues. The only thing that I w wish they would fix is somehow fixing the link your YouTube channel to back everything up on Rumble again, because for some reason through the web browser I can't do it, and my phone's too damn old to be downloading all the shit on it. I need it. I need to eventually just set money aside and get a new phone. Even Like, the phones that I buy are normally on I just, I can't justify that right now. I'm just really pissed that I cracked this, the, this phone as well. I don't know how I cracked it. Probably because I keep dropping it when I get it. But yeah, eventually, in due time. Getting a new phone is honestly like one of my last concerns. I'd rather put, put money into um, either more shirts or my car.
But y'all, I'm gonna hop off here. Well, is this sleepy? I love you all so very much. Thank you for the continued support. Y'all have a blessed night. Andrew, you have a wonderful evening. I will see you guys on Scrolls on Fire to finish going over the Twitter account. Um, if by chance uh, I get on tomorrow and somehow that content just magically deleted, don't worry because I, I recorded it all. We can still scroll through it. But with that said, I am up out of here. If you need me to look anything up, Angel, you just let me know. I have, I think it's still the 12th. I can double check tomorrow. But yeah, I had to cancel that because I don't use that. I don't, I don't want to run my DNA. I know that a lot of my ancestry is Greek, Native American, and German. And that's all I really need to know is what my parents are made of and my grandparents are made of. Uh, my, my aunt did do, um, on the Burkholder side, did the entire family tree that goes back to Germany. Like, Telegram, for whatever reason, keeps making me try to have to install the app just to confirm it so that I can use it through the web. And I'm not trying to do, I'm not trying to do all that extra right now, especially with my phone. Like, my, my phone is maxed out. It's really odd that I have, I think it's a 60 gig, 64 gig chip in my phone. But most of the stuff wants to be on the phone stuff itself. And I think there's only, like, 10 gigabytes of space on this phone because it's so damn old. And it's maxed out. I need, like, my YouTube studio and other stuff. You're Scottish and French. That's cool as hell. That is cool as hell. All right, y'all. I'm gonna hop off here. I love you so much. Have a blessed night. Andrew, have a great day. I'll see y'all.